Hi folks, it's Sean McCormick. In the past we've looked at profiles via Olympus, um, which were introduced in earlier versions of Lightroom 5. Now I did change my compact camera system from the Olympus EM5 to the Fuji X-Pro1, just because I preferred the quality of the files. It wasn't that there was a particular issue with the camera. Um, in fact, there's probably more features on the Olympus than on the Fuji, but I just really, really like the files from the Fuji. So with 5.4, we got Fuji camera profiles as well, so I'm just going to have a quick, very quick look at the camera profiles. So here's an image that I shot the other day. I've the only processing done to this is I've just boosted the exposure slightly, and um, because I couldn't really see the screen properly when I was shooting the shot originally, basically, because uh, it was such a bright sunny day. So I'm just going to have a look at them. We have the Adobe standard. Adobe standard is what comes every file comes in on it pretty much, unless you've made decisions to have another one come in using the set default and the way you set default is if you hold on your alt or option key and then the reset button becomes set default and then whatever settings are set in your develop uh, menus and through all the panels that basically becomes a setting that gets applied to the file now we haven't done that here in this case so this is just the adobe standard profile so the first option that you have and these are what are done to in-camera jpegs is the pro via or the standard view okay it's a little bit less contrasty than the the Adobe standard, uh, and not quite saturated. Velvia, which is the vivid mode, is more like Velvia film, which is very popular with landscape photographers. So we can see that's bumped up the contrast and greatly increased the saturation. So if we just jump back to standard for a second, you'll see that difference there a little bit easier. I'm going to go back to standard again, and then go to Astia, which is the softer version. Again, back to standard. We have the Pro Neg High, and um, we can see that's quite flat. So it's very, it's actually very good for portraits, as is the standard, which is just lower contrast version. On top of the color modes, there's also some black and whites. There's a standard monochrome, which is just a basic grayscale conversion. Uh, there's also with a yellow filter, red filter and the green filter. These are just emulating putting literally coloured filters in front of the lens. So those are the camera profiles that are there for the Fuji X-Series cameras. For landscapes I would tend to by default just go with Velvia because it just gives you a look straight away that's a great great start. So that's Fuji camera profiles.